I read this somewhere. Yeah. That you went up to Prince when he was alive, obviously, and you didn't go to their <laughs> funeral. But when you went, when you went up to Prince, <clears throat> and you said he was in some club or something. You know, he had his own after party after he performed on SNL. Right. There's. Our after party, then he had his. I would be thrilled to work on Saturday Night Live, but I would not want to go to any fucking party no, after I'd be you exhausted. Do get that way. Also, Prince's parties, it should be noted, he would then do a concert, right? Um, some, he's done that after his yeah. own shows, right. but this one, they had a DJ, and they were serving that a little buffet of macaroni and cheese. <laughs> All macaroni <laughs> and wow. cheese? Wow. He really yeah. knew how to party. It was, it I was, want mac and cheese. It was, it was, it was pretty like <laughs> quiet, and there was like a DJ, and so, but that's the one I wanted to go to. It went to that. Yeah. And then I'm such a Prince fan, and I really wanted to tell him this, and I wanted him, you know, in my ego to say something back, nice, right, sure, you know. Um, so because he had just performed on the show, so I walked up to he was sitting alone eating macaroni and cheese, and I was like, <laughs> "This is true. This is true." Yeah. And and I was so I sort of carefully sat down. I was like, "Hey, I just wanted to tell you, I, I think you are the greatest." And he said, you know what I think the greatest is? And I was like, what? He said, this macaroni. And, <laughs> <laughs> and then I had to walk away from the table alone right. back backwards. Because, you know, it's almost a joke or not a joke. I couldn't tell. Yeah. Why, 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 wait a second. Why do you think he does? Like, did he do that because he just wanted to humiliate you? Or, or is he trying to be funny? What the fuck somewhere, is going on I there? think somewhere in between. Just as a, you know, just to be an optimist, I thought maybe he's just trying to be funny or, because right. it wasn't, it didn't feel mean. It but just you know, felt, it it's just like the cool like kid in school who gets to pick on somebody. And, and, and you know what I mean? Like, you know, you were being very sincere and I think you're the greatest. And, and it's not easy to do that. Ultimately, like Prince, the res like Prince's <laughs> responsibility was to always be Prince. Yeah, but yes. in the moment, Fred was like walking backward from the table. <laughs> yeah, so like, good though. Like a was bomb that, about to go but, but off. Yeah. <laughs> was that the year that you guys were going to talk to him about doing Prince show and they kept telling you who he would talk to you after rehearsal? Yes, and then instead I talked to his assistant. What's that story? Well, my memory of it, and tell me mm -hmm. if I'm wrong, is you and Maya were going to talk to him and ask him to be in Prince show. Because Maya played Beyonce. Yes. Right. And uh, I, I always, I, my favorite one that you did was the Prince show where you're Prince and, and Maya goes, oh, Prince is, I've never seen him laugh this hard. Mm -hmm. And you barely, you just <laughs> twirled your lip a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> and the assistant, he was rehearsing. Yeah. Almost Thursday, Prince was rehearsing. Yeah. And yeah. they said, as soon as he's done, he's going to come and talk to you guys. Yes. And then the minute he finished, he disappeared. He just walked all the way down the hall. Right into the elevator. Yeah, what elevator is that? Left. Like, why would they say we're, Prince is going to talk to you and then have him disappear? <laughs> is it, what, like, why? why? That's why, what, what he is does. That? I guess that's what he does. Yeah. He disappears, you know? I think it was easy to be Prince. I think it was probably really hard to be Prince's assistant. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that just in the morning where it's like, we got to nail down your yeah. schedule. You know what I realize about the three of you? You're good friends. I feel like Fred and Bill bonded because they both walked off Saturday Night Live together. And I feel that was bonding, right? Am I, am I, it, was very bonding. it was very bonding. It was very bonding, actually, was. yeah. Did you two sit down together and say, we're both going to leave? Basically, yeah. And yeah, then even, whole, e even how we were going to do it. And yeah, everything. and then the whole season was us kind of doing, you know, last Christmas show. We would look at each other like... This is it. That's last one. Last and then one. We, and then last. Uh, and then that last week, it was just last table read. Last, last table last read. Last this. Were you both neurotic about it together? I mean, did you go? Oh shit! What are we gonna do afterwards? It could not work out. Maybe no. and blah 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 blah. Or you just no. kind of that, that was it. It was just kind we, of. We like just wanted to enjoy it too. We wanted yeah. to really appreciate every moment. We but, had a kind of fun thing where it was at the good nights. We had this thing of like, okay, we're up at good nights. We're waving at the end of the show, and we said, when we step off this stage, that's it. We're officially ex. SNL cast members. There's almost so we excited. counted to three. We went one, yeah, two, we looked at three. the floor. We looked at the floor and we stepped off at the same time and we're like, yeah. now we're ex cast. That's members. what you guys are doing during that yeah. uh, end of the show. I think you guys are all having fun, talking about so you're talking about stepping off in unison. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're like, here we go, let's go. And then freeze frame credits came up. That's mm -hmm. the end of our story. Yeah. I still think that's such a great <laughs> tradition on Saturday Night Live, that ending of the show where the host says goodnight and everybody I don't know why that's so fast. I think I could stand twenty minutes of that. Like I just love watching that. the dynamic. I love yeah. watching that because you see the real people. You see what yeah. they're like, how they stand. I think yes, it's I, more fun to watch than to be there, though. Don't oh, you yeah. think? Why is it awkward weird, sometimes? Well, you're aware mm -hmm. that it's being watched. Right. It's yeah. Not quite a part. Everybody's yeah. watching you celebrate. And yeah. sometimes you do that thing where you see somebody who had a great thing in the show, and you say, 
great show. And then you turn and there's another person. You say, great show. And then you turn and there's a person whose thing got cut. Yeah, yeah. Right. And they're miserable. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever, yeah. Do you remember ones that were like, a lot of times people cheer and then sometimes if it's a good show, we'll get a standing ovation. It's great. But the worst is when they, good night, everybody. And immediately people start get up leaving. And leave. <laughs> <laughs> the audience is gone. And you're like, Do you know you, when awful. you do a bad show? Do you, Can you tell that the audience will be getting up and leaving? Or is that the, the indication for you, the first indication? No, you know during yeah. the course of it's bad. You do? Yeah, those the, are actually kind of fun where we will sit down in a makeup chair and be like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, you'd rather, I mean, in all things being equal, you'd rather have an F than a C minus. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. those really? are the ones you remember. I don't understand that. You'd rather have a grade of an F than a C. You'd I rather have a only, really horrible show than a sort of I a mediocre mean this one. Very in the same way that I think Fred was lucky the prince said mac and cheese. We remember the terrible ones. Right. As a thing that we all went through that we can laugh about now. They're not really fun to go through at the time. Right. Does Lauren lecture people afterwards? No. No, you no. don't get any of that? When it's really they, bad, that's when Lauren will tell you it wasn't terrible. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. He'll yeah. the, the party and he'll say, you know, I think the crowd tonight, you, you know, know, I think, you know, it's that And thing. they'll always be there. <laughs> and <laughs> you know what tells you when you have a bad show is, is New York City will tell you. And <laughs> the next day I'll will be walking, I'll be going to a bodega with my kid and be like, hey, that thing you did last night, the fireman, that was dumb. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah, and I'm like, all right, thank you. Thank you.